no surprise you're seeing more homes pop up as our population grows, but tonight there's an effort to put a stop to one downside of a city on the rise. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres reports there's a multi-county effort to crack down on those who steal from new neighborhoods. What many see as new beginnings, Detective Christine Gilman sees an unwanted invitation. We had a fireplace that was taken and a dishwasher. They've even taken like the toilet paper handles out of the bathrooms. With five subdivisions being developed, Nolensville is growing fast. But crooks see construction sites as prime opportunity to steal. We're in constant communication with the contractors. Um, we're here all the time. Our officers set up extra patrols. There's always been a variety of construction thefts, but taking copper like the ones from HVAC units has been consistent. And the crime isn't cheap either. The cost of damage copper theft has cost on subdivisions is at least $50,000. And that's just in Nolensville alone. In Mount Juliet, there were barely any copper thefts in the first six months last year until September when it reached 14. While there's always been a lot of construction in neighborhoods, police there say thieves could be moving to different areas. For Nolensville. We started noticing it here in Nolensville in the summertime. Gilman says multiple agencies from different counties are now working together on an effort to see an end to the crime. The focus is on at least one group targeting many areas. I think there's several different groups that do it. Um, but I think the one that we've been seeing often is a specific group. There's only so much she can say right now. But she says combining resources in a collaborative way might be the right solution. We've been working together over the last few months and, you know, we're all sharing information and hoping that we can crack down on who's doing this. In Nolensville, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Thanks, Matthew. Do you want to take a vacation? Sun Country Airlines announced three new nonstop routes from Nashville International. The flights are to Los Angeles starting in April. Those start at $89 one way. You can fly to Portland, Oregon in May for as low as $109 one way. And there will be flights to Providence, Rhode Island starting in April for just $69 one way. But if you stay home, staying fit can cost you. But state representatives are joining forces, hoping to make it easier for everyone to try to stay healthy. As News Channel 5's Sina Sleem explains, smaller gyms would benefit from this too. New year, new you. Many are taking the first step towards getting back into shape by finding their new gym. I'm happy to help people. Tosh you know. Weddle, president of New Beginnings Center, says for most clients, it comes down to money. Younger people are already having a hard time. You know, you get your typical group class, which is 20 to $30. I mean, that's expensive for you know, a 20 something. And then you add tax onto that. Right now, you have to pay a tax for memberships at boutique smaller gyms, but not at larger fitness centers that are over 15,000 square feet. It's something that isn't sitting right with a lot of small business owners. There is legislation pending to do away with the tax altogether. It's getting support from state representatives such as Jason Powell. Tennessee has one of the highest adult obesity rates across the country. By doing away with the tax, state representative Jason Powell hopes this will change. I believe that we need to create a more healthy environment in the state of Tennessee encourage people to work out, to get in shape. And so it's unfair when we're taxing membership in these smaller facilities. For one, they're small business owners and that tax hits home. And then secondly, it's also discouraging people by taxing them from working out and getting in shape. By getting rid of the tax altogether, Powell believes it will be a win for both smaller gym owners and their users. Do everything we can to encourage people to work out in the state of Tennessee. In Nashville, Cena Sleem, News Channel 5. The Senate introduced a bill to eliminate the tax today. The House has a companion bill in the works.